So this is the brand new Apple CarPlay. There's a lot to go over in this video. I'm in this Toyota Tacoma Tail Hunter 2025 with this massive 14 inch multimedia display. This is a perfect time to make a CarPlay video. This is the ESR Classic Hybrid Magnetic Case. It's designed to keep the original iPhone look while adding solid everyday protection. You'll get full coverage camera protection, including a reinforced camera bar and the zinc alloy camera guard. Plus you're getting a built-in camera control cover. Now around the case, ESR uses air guard corners and raised edges around both the screen and camera. Now this is gonna help absorb everyday drops and prevent scratches during normal use. Around the back is ESR stash stand. Adjustable from 15 degrees to 69 degrees, it supports both portrait and landscape viewing. The MagSafe performance is strong too. With 1,500 grams of magnetic force, so chargers and accessories stay securely attached without interfering with charging. And for full protection, pairing it with ESR's UltraFit screen protectors makes a lot of sense. The UltraFit trays make installation quick, dust free, and most importantly, bubble free. If you want protection that keeps the iPhone 17 looking like an iPhone, check out ESR's classic hybrid magnetic case, link in the description and as well as a pinned comment. Thank you so much to ESR for sponsoring a portion of this video. Now one of the first things, liquid glass is here. So if I go into the settings, I can customize the icons. And for the first time ever on CarPlay history, you can now have dark icons. This is something that we always wanted. We had a dark mode, but no dark icons. But iOS 26 or CarPlay 26, you can finally do so. But you also have a new, uh, you have a new clear option too. So if you like the clear icons, then you could do that too and you can have them clear dark too which actually look pretty sick i'm actually going to leave that as that next up you have your wallpapers so you have nine new wallpapers to match with the ios 26 design um, i wish you can upload your own wallpaper but maybe next year uh, please apple make that possible it has some yellow accents to it too so oh that look nice yeah, new wallpapers, new icons. Now, believe it or not, the next thing you have is something called Smart Zoom. So yet again, if I go into the settings and I go back and I go over to display, you have something called Smart Zoom. So basically, CarPlay will automatically optimize for your vehicle display. This is just a new option that automatically adjusts the layout based on your screen size. This is gonna be perfect for those wider dashboards. Um, and to go alongside with that, if I take it over back to the settings, we we'll go to accessibilities, and then we go into text size. You can now have, uh, now you can set the text size. So with a massive display like this, it might be feasible to have larger text just to cater with that beautiful large display. So you could do that for the very first time. I'm gonna leave it for, I'm, I might even, for this car, I might even have it at 110. I think 110 might make the most sense. Um, I, I think, yeah, I think this makes the most sense. The text is not too small, it's not too big either. Now, another new feature, finally, Apple has finally included this, compact call pop-up. So no longer the call hijack the entire screen. It's just a simple banner without taking up the entire display. This one is my personal favorite. We should have been had this. On the messages, you now can pin your contacts and be able to quickly reply using dictation or Siri. Uh, that's, that's something nice. So everything is now in sync. Um, and also too, you have tap back. So for example, you can now read messages out loud and you can just respond with tap backs, such as just a heart, thumbs up, aha, hands, just all hands free. Now also, if I go over to the podcast, this is something new. I, I listen to a lot of Joe Button podcasts, so I could play that. Um, now you could be able to control the playback speed. Now this is something that we could have did on the iPhone, but now you could do it on the CarPlay right on it. The carplay interface yeah it's it's late but hey i'm i'm happy that is here if i go to music you can now pin your playlist on top front and center so i have all of my favorite playlists so my favorite mix my heavy rotation and i have just the great music for the open mind just those easy listening tunes and another thing too of course same thing like on the iphone and ios 26 you have auto mix slash cross flayed so now carplay has those transitions Auto mix basically analyze the tempo and key and just smoothly transition to the next song. Crossfade just smoothly blend the track. Um, if I go over to the maps, well, actually, I can't even show you guys this. Uh, you can now report crashes, traffic, road work, hazards, closures, helping other drivers in real time. So now you can report any kind of um, 
you know, things that's going on, on the road to help other drivers. Any kind of flickering on the lights, that's just my camera, just, that's not in real life. But now another new thing here on maps, you have pinch the zoom essentially. I think I got to double tap and then do that, yeah. So I can double tap. It's kind of like pinch the zoom, but not necessarily. If I go over to the home screen, you can now add widgets to CarPlay. This is major, actually. So basically, you could get widget stacks, swipe up old cards for the weather, music, calendar, or even third-party apps, depending on your car. So on the iPhone, you want to open up your settings. You want to go into general. Well, I just actually just typed in CarPlay. So it's settings, general, CarPlay. Then you want to tap your vehicle, and you gotta, you're you going to have an option that says widgets. So now you can be able to add widgets here, and this is how you can be able to do so. So now you can be able to add any widget you want. You can add Uber, you can add Indeed, you can add Snapchat. This is really sick. Now, for me, I'm going to add ChatGBT. I mean, ChatGBT on the CarPlay is going to be pretty insane. To get to your widgets, you want to just swipe over, swipe again, and then you're going to have your widgets panel here. So when you're not driving, you could be able to add widgets um, on your iPhone. So you're going to just continue. And now here we go. So this is really sick. So I have my photos, I have the weather, and of course I have ChatGBT. And this is a hack because now I can ask ChatGBT anything. And it's gonna open up the app on my iPhone and it's gonna be able to, now you can be able to talk to ChatGBT with no problem. So uh, I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> this is just a test. Hey, no worries at all. It sounds like everything's working smoothly, which is awesome. Feel free to just chat about anything or throw a random topic my way if you want to keep testing. I'm here and ready to roll. There you guys have it. And you guys could just use your imagination. You could say, how many pop, what's the population in New York? Absolutely. That's a perfect kind of question to test things out. So just <laughs> pulling from the latest data, the population of New York State is around 19.5 billion people. And yeah, you can ask me anything along those lines or anything else you're curious about. Yeah, this is super cool. And especially when driving hands-free, your eyes on the world, you could just tap and then you just ax away anything to your heart's content. Now also too, for the very first time, you have live activities. So you could track flights, track deliveries, or even sports scores. I'm starting to work out on my Apple Watch right now. Video on the Apple Watch coming soon. You're gonna have a widget See, so now you have that widget on the bottom there. So it says fitness and it has the timer going. Now this, gonna, this is gonna work for any live activities. And now unfortunately you cannot interact with it. Um, maybe in the next iteration, you could be able to interact with your widgets. Now CarPlay screenshots are now optional. Now believe it or not, CarPlay can now support video playback only if the automaker enable it. So it's not available on most cars yet, but it's something that Apple allows, believe it or not. Because look at this screen. This screen is massive. 14 inch multimeter display. Look how massive this display is. I mean, you could definitely put something else here. Like, I, I'm, I know you're driving, I get it, but when you're idling like how I am right now in park, it'll be nice to just throw in a movie or you know watch YouTube videos or something. Like, this is a big, 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 this is like an iPad, basically. Uh, but yeah, man, but that's all 20 new features of Apple CarPlay. Uh, with iOS 26. I think this is a worthy update. If you on the fence of updating your iPhone because your phone needs to be running iOS 26 in order for this to work, then I, I think this alone is worth the update. I, th I think the widgets alone is the big feature here. But if you guys want to see like a widget setup for CarPlay, let me know down in the comments down below. Subscribe with that notification bell on and let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. Now that, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.